the goal is to bring entertainment and some joy to kids while they're in the hospital, which, I mean, how can you say no to that? Right. Um, so what they, they actually make these, uh, I believe, uh, what, what do they call them? The, uh, they, they call them carts where they actually will literally just wheel an entertainment unit into a child's room. Right. Um, and so in, you know, if you've ever had the, uh, the distinct privilege of being in the hospital, usually when you hear that crate wheel in, you think, Oh, they're here to get more vitals or do some something. And in fact, no, this is somebody here, maybe dressed up as a superhero or right. to, <laughs> here to just hang out with you and may, and you know, play some video games with you. And, and this is just an opportunity to bring a smile to some kids' faces at a time when um, th- those are especially important. So yeah, it, it, yeah. it's particularly heartbreaking. No child should have to go through that. Oh, you know, this is a time in their life when they should be able to um, enjoy life, you know, be outside, be a kid. Cause I mean, we all try and capture that, you know, we're all, I'm here in my mid thirties still enjoying playing video games and oh, broadcasting right there, with man. you, Ham. <laughs> Absolutely. And, I mean, that's the time when those kids should be able to enjoy. They shouldn't have to worry about it. So if some glimmer of hope comes from even just a small, uh, minuscule joy of being able to play a game for an hour or something like that, um, it's it's obviously very, very worthwhile. The other thing is, I think I mentioned earlier as well, it's difficult because in a hospital environment, you have to be careful with things like sanitation. Uh, mm-hmm. Not just talking COVID, I'm just talking in general. Um, and so if you have some type of long-term terminal disease or something like that, they restrict what you can bring in and out because the exposure can be a thing. Also, if you're fresh from like surgery, unfortunately, or something like that. Mm-hmm. So these things also the ability to, because they're all in one, it's these carts and they're mobile. Um, they're able to be easily sanitized as opposed to, um, you know, once upon a time, there'd be some crummy 13 inch TV in the corner uh, and right. it may or may not have cable and there might be a VCR below it or something like that. Uh, nowadays, uh, hospitals are much more uh, sanitation focused than they ever were. And so that's another great, aspect of this is because they are kind of compartmentalized and they're mobile uh, they can be uh, sanitized so incredible thing i don't think there's a person in the world who would argue that um the, the goal here to bring some joy to some children is not a worthwhile venture so please even a dollar consider uh donating as a it looks like there we go we got the uh the link there in the chat very Excellent. worthwhile yeah Absolutely. And also huge shout, shout out and thank you to everybody behind the scenes, um, the mod team, as well as our host Hollywood pizza for doing the hard work to actually bring this broadcast to you. Also <laughs> massive shout out to the, the previous commentators, uh, Carlos oh, sure. Roberto Jr. And Ziggy Sawdust, AKA Ali G uh, did <laughs> some phenomenal work. And fun fact, by the way, if you, if you were watching the Swiss rounds and thought, man, these are, these are some cool dudes. I would love an opportunity to hang out with them. Well, great news. <laughs> They're both streamers. Wow, so, I didn't know that, Ham. Where could I find crazy, them? It's crazy, right? So yeah, their <laughs> links have been showing up in chat, so feel free to drop them a follow, and you can actually see them live playing some magic and telling jokes all the time here on Twitch. So yeah. what's not to love? I mean, it, it, the thing is, I have a question, is if he's Ali G, can I also be Borat? I don't see why same, not. I mean, Same guy, it's, see why not. Like I had a um, moment where, yeah, it was like, whoa, Ali G's here? It's like, oh, that's Ziggy. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it was pretty impressive. It, it looked good on him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, guess I don't know why also... the other Sasha Baron Cohen characters couldn't be yeah. in the mix. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I forget the other. I didn't see the other movie after Borat. I've heard it was pretty raunchy by comparison. Even though Oh, Borat that was, was uh, what was it? Uh, Bruno he was like an name? Eastern European guy. Yeah. And it, uh, anyway. uh, also, in addition to uh, Gamers Outreach Foundation uh, doing all that great work, we should also mention the sponsors for today. Uh, there are there are three of them. They're all fantastic. We've got the comic book store. Check them out for all of your magic needs and also magicjank.com. Uh, and finally, MTGA codes. We have all the links uh, available there, both in the chat, um, as well as you can see them kind of on the bottom of the of the display right now on the on Pizza's channel. So check all of those out. Lots of good deals to be had, and we thank them for being sponsors of the event. Um, what's so, the what's the payout today? Two fifty. It's pretty. That's a hefty amount of dough for an afternoon playing for, magic for free to play tournament. Yeah, it's yeah, not bad at all. All right, so here we go. So Samson here rocking the Racto Sacrifice, going up against Selesnia Angels, which I always find it funny that it's always called Selesnia Angels when it's really just mono white angels with Coco. Um, right. But turns out that's really good. Uh, it still works quite well. When all the great angels cost three or less, why not? Mm-hmm. All right, and here we go. So as you can see, uh, Samson's been doing a great job of keeping the pressure on. Now they, they've kind of run out of gas a little bit, so their current board state needs to carry him through. But when you're going up against a life gain deck and they're at six, and you have ways to ping them, it still feels real good. Uh, Procopio here hitting the second collected company. 
which is definitely not what you want to see here. But a Lunar Veteran and Inspiring Overseer, yeah, that'll draw you a card and gain you quite a bit of life. But I mean, actually, every those Lunar Veterans might be uh, Samson's undoing here. Yeah, I mean, in the same breath, in the same breath that uh, Jund and Rakdos Sacrifice have the ability to bounce back very quickly. Uh, so does uh, Mono White slash uh, Celestia Angels, right? Mm -hmm. In the opposite direction. Whereas um, that that record, turn them sideways. I love this. Oh, it's a jam. Well, yeah. Now that puts uh, Precopio here in some uncomfortable blocking scenarios. Yeah, I mean, this is nine damage coming in, so they have to block somewhere. They choose to block the den, which makes a lot of sense. Put them down yeah. to three. All right, Lunark veterans, don't fail me now. right yeah lunar veteran another excellent card that is still legal and standard yeah uh of course it'll be next on the chopping block when um midnight and the others you know rotate but yep. um soon to see the other thing that's crazy you know inspiring overseer i don't i don't remember i mean i play a significant amount of limited um i actually mm -hmm. don't play a ton i don't play too much constructed uh just you know climb up to mythic and then okay now i can have fun <laughs> sort of thing <laughs> um sure. but Inspiring Overseer with New Capenna, a common, a common. As another Coco comes another up. Another Coco. Telling, I'm telling you, Ham, these cards. Oh, no. Two righteous Valkyries. Righteous. And they come in with two oh, counters because of Giada's ability. God. And just 21. like that, Procopio was at five, and they are now at 21. <laughs> Holy cow. I was going to say, though, in New Capenna, when it came out, you know, I play a significant amount of uh, Limited as the mm -hmm. primary magic uh, format, my preferred format. Inspiring Overseer, a three cost a three a three cmc common yeah. um is seeing main board two or three of in an explorer we'll call it we'll call it pioneer light right <laughs> in pioneer when all of these insanely powerful cards and planeswalkers are all available that tells you the power of inspiring overseer uh oh to give goodness, you that yes. can tripping effect as bishop comes in and that's going to give them all the plus oh. the plus ability uh righteous are now eight tens each uh i mean <laughs> so not, even those Lunar Veterans are 5-5s. Five I mean, my goodness. Jeez. So those Lunar Veterans are going to get blanked here, but, I mean, yeah, that's and, what, 23 damage are... in the air? I mean, or no, 22. 22 damage in the air? I yeah, mean, and, my goodness. And these are, yeah, these are the non-amended Cauldron Familiars, as we talked about earlier, yep. that, that can do exactly what you're seeing here, the most annoying thing in the world, if you're on the <laughs> other side of it. Yep. Um, but I think this still... I, I don't know. I'm trying to think what card Samson could pull off the top here. Um, Cause we'll go to 20, wait a minute, 16, 22. Oh, never mind. No, it's just going through the motions, huh? Yeah. I don't see how they, I mean, this isn't enough. Yeah. You're going to gain 20, okay. but is that, um, I'm not, is that, that is that, um, I don't know. If you face a zero out situation, will you continue to play him? I, I don't know. Um, it varies. Like the one situation that I'll do, I, I generally no. Like that's one of those things. That, like you'll see it a lot where you know you go to make an attack and they have blockers, but no matter how they line it up, it's just not going to work. So they don't. There's no blocks to let it you know come on in. Um, that's usually how I'll do it. I'll, if, yeah. if I'm if I'm done and this is it's a true zero out situation, I'll I'll usually like if it's as simple as just let the attack through to end it, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll usually scoop. Um, right. Unless. I'm in a situation where I want to show my opponent how useless my hand was, and I have the means to do that. Um, that's one of those things I've seen people use, like kill spells on their own things, which are the only viable targets, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I might do something like that, but never, you know, I, I don't, not never, I shouldn't say that, but I don't usually do something like, yeah, Samson there was going through some, going through some motions just to see, like maybe, but yeah. They're obviously yeah. very, they obviously know their deck. As you, I don't know, you saw mm -hmm. the speed at which they sideboarded. They must have, now a lot of uh, really good players will have prepared lists for in this such, in this matchup, mm -hmm. these are your cuts. Um, obviously, a lot of websites, um, uh, not shouting out any particular one in particular, but mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen where it's like, uh, here is for this expected matchup. Yep. These are your board outs. And they're like, you know, Samson, very accomplished a player. Um, as you can see, the trophy on the left hand side there um, <laughs> is oh, going to get the fatal push. Yeah. Oh, fatal. Didn't they hit a bishop of wings on fatal push? Feels pretty good. I'd say. Yeah. But they opted not to. That's the right choice. Okay. And there's the inspiring. I'm telling you. Wait till the last moment. But yeah, inspiring overseer back again. Yeah, a little life gain, a little card draw. Beautiful. At a common for, yeah. for now. Uh, okay okay that's fine i could also see an argument for 
uh, deadly dispute on the oven because if you recall, they did board out, excuse me, one of the cats. So cat oh, is being yeah. emphasized. Oh boy. Yasharn, implacable yeah. herb. There's, there's a lot of text on Yasharn, but the most important part, players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land oh, permanent. No. Oh no. Wow. Another another clutch sideboard card from Zendikar. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, that's brutal. A message to this. A message to the broadcasters, I suppose. Going to turn mm-hmm. them sideways. Um, really hope Yasharn. I mean, a braids in hand. So if Yasharn blocks anything here, a braids and kills spell. They know. Yeah, for copy of note, do whatever you protect that pig, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> is it a, uh, I believe it's a beast, right? Is it a, oh, is it? I thought it was a boar. I, uh, is it a boar? Okay, okay. Uh, boar is kind of an underrepresented card type, isn't uh, it? Elemental right? boar. Yeah, it is an underrepresented elemental card. Elemental boar. I, I would have never guessed. Yep. Yeah, no, I Raga Draga was the first legendary, or well, no, or Yasharn too. But I, I, I often looked at, like, okay, if I'm going to build a, <laughs> a boar commander deck, who is helming it? And yeah, and Raga Draga, like that one was like, oh, sure, here we go. Of but course. Yasharn also excellent. The problem is, all many... other, most of the other boars are either green or red. So not having, anyway. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I know what you right. mean. There's Truffle Snout too, right? But is that a pig? That's a boar. Yeah, Truffle Snout's a boar. Well, and then there's also Ilharg, which, <laughs> oh, and Enemy yeah, yeah, yeah. Runners are, anyway. Um, I, I can nerd about this for a minute. Believe it, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Wait, an MTG streamer named Ham Hawks like has, has thoughts on the board tribal cards? No way. Yeah. I love, but I think my wife. I think Truffle Snow is my wife's favorite magic card. She doesn't play the game, by the way. She has no idea what's going on. She just walks in. She's like, it's like the it's like the meme. Are you winning, son? It's, it's, <laughs> you know? Yeah, Truffle, Truffle Snow is a great card, though. You can't. You yeah, but you can't be mad at Truffle Snow. Yeah, yeah, she saw it. And she's like, oh, it's so cute. Absolutely, yeah, Truffle Snow. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I mean, yeah, Yashar just shuts Samson's deck down. I mean, all yeah. Witches Oven can't do anything. The Priests of Forgotten Gods can't do anything. Deadly Dispute, you can't pay the additional cost. I mean, there's not I even mean, any point of attacking with the Shaman to get the treasure because you literally can't activate it. Like, Oh, wow. And then the Unlucky Witness, the whole point is to be able to use Sacrifice Outlets. Deadly Dispute is a dead card. Witches is a dead card. Looking for outs here. There's one Angraph. There's one Angraph. Um, okay. Uh... I don't, I don't think, which by the way, I love that Angrath card. It's so cool. It's pretty good. Co- it's pretty solid. Eaten Alive. Well, no, uh, you'd have to pay full price for Eaten Alive. Yeah. You'd have to pay five mana for Eaten Alive to make it work. Unfortunately. Um, oh God. And a Righteous Valkyrie. Nah, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, honestly, this would be like 40 life here. Down, this comes down to being just a truly dreadful matchup. Yeah. It's about as bad as it gets. Yeah. Gonna get yeah. off the top here. Play it out. A good player, a professional, two land. Oh, mm-hmm. land the mayhem. Uh, yeah. GG. Wow. Well, wow. Yeah. Great job well, by uh, Procopio. My goodness. Anyway. Uh, nice try. I'm also going to call it CMC forever until my grave. And that's fine. Like we all know what you mean. It's it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, now well, I, I, I do I, call I, the line. I do draw the line at calling things type one, type two. I, I that's that's too much. That's too much. Yeah. You call standard I, type two him. <laughs> I, re- I remember type two yeah yeah i don't yeah. I, I i draw the line there i'm not sure if we're having technical difficulties or if uh, there does appear to be yeah there does appear to be a connection issue uh we'll okay. see if that gets resolved here fingers see crossed yeah yeah looks like it but went yeah. to draw oh okay looks like we're moving over to the other side okay all right but yeah no um yeah type one type two i do remember that i do remember extended i kind of miss extended that was that what was an interesting was? format um so if you're not familiar with the idea with, with extended so <laughs> Standard rotates every year, right? And you only get to play cards that are, you know, at oldest two years. Right. And extended, the idea was it went back, what, four or five? It was or kind was of it? like, it was kind of the same concept as Modern and Pioneer. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, Modern Pioneer different. did end up. Oh, replacing. we got a boat. We got oh, a boat, got ladies and gentlemen. I'm on a boat and it's going fast. And <laughs> I've got a nautical theme, Pashmina Afghan. Anyway. That's right. <laughs> sorry. Um, silly reference for the win, I'm I on think. The, I'm the king of the world. On a boat, on like, a Leo. boat like Leo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, you're on the shore, then you show not Mio. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the best line. That's got to be the best it's, line. It's fantastic. Anyway. If you're on the show, oh, master. If you're on the one. show, then you show not me. <laughs> so oh, <stupid. laughs> So silly. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. So uh, we have the Seekers Chariot and the Sky Sovereign. So we have yeah. the boat online and the, and the cat alack. Double trigger on the boat, by the way. Did you see that? Yep. Both, yeah, on both. the ETB and then Stormseeker giving it haste. Brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And then we were just talking about the combination of both Kyla's reconstruction and Coco, uh, which you do have access to here mm -hmm. and explore, um, right? Is yep. um, now, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any Nyctos. I should take a look at the deck list here. Um, there have been calls recently because of the power of devotion decks in general. And this is all colors uh, mono black, mm -hmm. mono white, mono green. Um, are dominating uh, oh, Pioneer yeah. and and to some extent Explore. I think Explore, ironically, is more diversified, even though it has less cards, if that makes sense. Um, but Pioneer mm -hmm. is dominated by the three monocolor decks I just mentioned, uh, with some a couple exceptions. Um, and I'm not seeing Nykthos, because that's how you get that big Kyli uh, Kyla trigger. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That, well, it makes a lot of sense, because, I mean, your Bishop of Wings carry two Devotion. You've got... Yep. Every one of your flyers carries at least one. Bishop is two. Bishop is two white. Bishop is two, yeah. That's that's incredible. All oh, right, so, yeah. yeah, Sky Sovereign coming in again. Um, now, with now with the added benefit of Trample, special thanks to the, uh, the, what are the Storm Charge, Storm Charge Slasher, I believe. The, it was the backside of the uh, Reckless Storm Seeker. Yes. Giving plus two plus zero and Trample now is no joke. Eight in the air. Um, we got big boats. Big, big boats. boats. Um, wondering if Ooze comes out um, in this match. Obviously, Celeste, you're not doing anything in the graveyard. Oh, my goodness. Do they have a Cocoa of their own? What do they have in hand? Viralata. It's got another. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, Bone Crusher double tapping that Bishop of Wings. Oof. Wow. Uh, and then you can pump. Yeah. You can wow. Pump yeah, there's another bishop wow. you can see right there. So what a I list. don't see any reason not to buff skews one more time. I'm trying to think uh, what outs uh, Procopio could have. I mean, it's not looking good. Uh, they don't run farewell. Nope. But... Yeah, farewell or a I don't know day of judgment. Is that even legal in this format? I I know it's in no, it's uh... in the historic. Um, uh, okay, yeah. No settle the wreckage. Oh, no, settle the wreckage. But uh, that's not going to do it. Yeah, a yeah. couple of bodies there. That does help, right? That's that's a fair amount of life. Decent amount of life. Four, yeah. and then the... One off. Right, yeah. Just... I don't and think so. And then Youthful Valkyrie in hand is going to gain you another three. It, well, and, I guess if you get to cast it, so who knows? Yeah, the we'll attack see. trigger will hit the spirit token. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's... Oh, goodness. Oh, and Bone Crusher can crew can crew yep yep your choice is either to crew or to have the storm hit it uh also playing one spell per turn to keep storm storm going yep give a trample turn everything sideways yeah you also have two green to pump ooze to a six assuming that there are still two creatures in the graveyard i haven't I haven't kept count mm -hmm. opted to go with the lunar i guess that makes sense yeah, yeah. i was thinking yeah let's do some, some quick math here and doesn't matter Okay. Yeah, this is going through the motions here, but yeah, I don't um... see how they come out of this because I, I mean, it, just that army of cats alone plus the sky sovereign. I mean, that's a beautiful yeah. artwork, by the way. It's um, good. in fact, I have a big old fluffy cat of my own. It's a Norwegian forest cat. Nice. Both both players going through the motions here. Definitely didn't need to do this, but just doing it to do it. A little gravy. I can appreciate that. A little yeah. Gravy. Put them on the. Yeah. There it is. Negative there it six. Is. That's pretty comfortable. comfortable <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's, that right there is exactly what that the, what that Grohl deck came here to do today. That... Yeah. All right. There's the. Uh, by the way, this is the list that we saw uh, defeat Rakdos with its one of uh, Yasharn. Yep. Uh, that one's not going to come in today. Um, no, not this one. Not I'm this sorry. Match. Was I? Yeah. No, this is the deck. Okay. I couldn't remember yeah. if it was this or if it was the uh, other Bant Bant list. But um, there's a Rydane. Rydane. Rydane is maybe. a. Uh, pithing needle could also be valuable because you could name one of the vehicles. Yeah, and then I all like. Of a you can look yeah. through it. So that I like be both. Valuable. I like both sides of Rydane. I actually, I I like the shield side more because mm -hmm. if they're going to hit you with go wide a million cats, right? Doesn't it reduce all damage by one? Yep. So yeah, that's every not damage bad... starts to reduce by one. So yeah, exactly. If your opponent's going wide, yeah, Valkmira the shield can be incredibly beneficial. Yeah. What a flavorful! I gotta say, by the way, um, that might have been my favorite set thematically in a very long time. Um, yeah, it was incredible like draft too. Yeah, Call Time oh, was just yeah. it was uh, it was one of the best times I had uh, playing limited, and it was actually the I think it's the only time I've ever made Mythic and limited was in Call. Oh, Time. nice. Yeah, I, I've never even gotten past diamonds. I've never even gotten anywhere into diamonds since then. 
<laughs> Honestly, I think, yeah. I don't know my limited rank. I don't, I just don't play enough. Cause I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, use, I'll play limited to get my collection up. And then yeah, I'm usually good at that point. You know, I'll, I'm willing to sit back. Yeah. So they're going to run out the Bishop of Wings here mm-hmm. on two rending volley is okay. good. Yeah, make sure we're going to add, yeah. turn to turn two Bishop into turn three righteous is a backbreaker that oh my goodness, yes. when you face that down. Now here's an interesting choice. Do you go land portable? See, because with the portable, you slow them down there. If you don't get rid of the portable, they're, on okay yeah there you go okay yeah because I mean, then they're on asika's next turn which you do not want no absolutely not i mean this is the the traditional question you know do you bolt the bird and that's basically what you're doing here you're using a oh, removal wow. in this case even one man removal to get rid of a one mana you know mana okay. creature both and training volley on chiata my goodness Vera Lada hitting both rending volleys <laughs> and finding good targets for both of them yeah finding good targets i mean the the bishop i mean that four toughness is just wild Mm-hmm. Gonna get the uh, gonna get him for three here with the hasty reckless. Um, okay, there's a land for Coco. I was just about to say, um, yeah. you had decisions to make if you didn't, but now that you allowed that to flip, um, excuse me, still the right choice. Ooh. Oh my goodness, second storm taker. This is bad. Jeez. And not, I mean, now you have Coco, but yeah, there, there are certain situations in which running out Coco main is worthwhile, and right. when your opponent has a you know a day on werewolf online that's they are going to regret i mean it's the right play to wait oh no no that's not what you want to see suboptimal cards there you can double block uh uh, no i lied oh yes you can okay that's right right. yes i was about to say there's a trigger you must double block here don't even okay nope they're gonna take it i mean they have the right spell green hand is another but they don't have the mana to double spell here they don't this is what my question here yeah um, I guess you could go youthful and hold up heroic intervention. Love heroic intervention, by the way. It's such a good card. Yeah, intervention is pretty great. Or you could throw an inspiring overseer and just pray for a land, which no, they I played mean, the land for turn. That's dicey for sure. That's a that's yeah. a that's a high risk, played, high reward right. kind of situation. Let's see what happens here. And they got it. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. I thought they had played their land for turn. My apologies. Nope. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now they have heroic intervention up. So all of a sudden. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's- yeah, I mean, um, don't get me wrong. It doesn't look great, but it looks way better than it did a second ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, also Mutavault is there. I mean, Mutavault is such a great addition. Yeah. Um, I mean, we have we have uh, Mishra's Factory, which is objectively far worse <laughs> right. than uh, in standard. But oh my god! And oh, good Ooh, gravy! Obliterating Bolt. This is going to force the heroic intervention yeah, earlier you got, you than Procopio wanted earlier to run than it you out. Wanted. It's two spells. Uh, no, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No, it's not. No, because yeah, for the daytime, nighttime, mm-hmm. it has to be the the person whose turn it is has to cast yep. two spells. Exactly. And in this case, Viralata activated Mutable and cast the Obliterating Bolt, so that's, that's right. still not going to switch. Yep. yep. Only one spell. They're going to stay giving things 2-0 and Trample, each of them. Um, thinking about how to respond, is that last card in hand another Rending Volley? I don't know if they have four oh, of. Oh my goodness, that would be incredible here. I mean, it is a great card. I'm not sure if that's... Uh... If four of I I now go back and I question the decision to play that inspiring uh when it did come out. I mean again, mm-hmm. youthful youthful is one of those cards you want to get down. Now, granted, easier said than done, but you want to have it you want to have it down as soon as possible, and then you start to build on it. It's similar to a um uh, 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 uh I'm trying to think of uh, the one mana. Uh, zombie one one each time you uh, play a oh, zombie um the champion of the champion, champion of the, of the parish, parish yeah. and then the other the opposite right the white one yeah or yeah the human one or the zombie or, whichever or we're zombie. talking about yeah so it's one of those things where mm-hmm. no even though you may stare at some removal or some interaction or whatever and you're like oh i want to get this now um it's still better to uh commit mm-hmm. to the long term okay another land not what they want to see there I get no. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Okay, yeah, that's right. Because youthful. Yeah, they're gonna throw the righteous Valkyrie. That way, they're gonna gain life okay, off the gain life. youthful entering, it, which makes sense. It's the option yeah. of like gain life or put a token on it. Um, yeah, what's more we'll important, three see. life or a plus one plus one counter? And I'm inclined yeah. to agree with life. And they did the have third. the red after I knew all. it. I knew no it. No way. Oh no! And now they get well. They get another counter. So now it's at five toughness. Excuse me, five power. Yeah, uh, five seven. seven. Toughness, I mean, which that is will this will clear versus a storm charge so if they double pump mm-hmm. something and put it up to seven this can now 
Um, trade with well, it, yeah. Effectively trade, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. You do have to yeah. win the game eventually, right? <laughs> True. Yeah, that, that's, that's one of the... That, that's a very skill-testing <laughs> moment. It's like, when do I choose to go to attack? Absolutely. And they did cast two spells, so it is now daytime. Um, yeah, that, that might be the greatest skill test moment, is knowing when to and when not to attack. Um, mm-hmm. I think that was the right move there. Bringing, yeah. bringing Juicy J in, not a good sign for Viralata, because... Uh, a Coco or a Kyla's here will be a blowout. Yes. Um, almost certainly. Yeah, for copy, you can get, yeah, collect a company online. Okay, a whiff. Uh, Don't play the land, just keep it there. Yeah, no sense hang in on. It. Keep the fake, bluff. Fake the Coco, yeah. Yep, fake the Coco. And I, you know what? Uh I don't know. Now I don't know if you attack. The thing is, the two ones, they don't do much in the way of absorbing damage because they're going to have these... Uh, these wolves are going to have trample anyways. Right. Um, so yeah, you're probably better off. Put them at 12. Um, we'll see. Yeah. That's a, a, you know, it's an aggressive choice, but I can't say they're wrong. Wow. Yeah. Now how does your, a lot of line up the attack here, assuming they attack, which also not a given uh, sky sovereign that helps because that's going to knock out the one, oh, three Valkyrie youthful can crew. Is this lethal? Um. Yeah. So unfortunately, uh, they can crew. Yeah, well, that will give Sky Sovereign to give a trample. It attacks for three. No. Nope. Wait. Hold on. Let me think here. Uh, be ten. Right. Ten trample block seven. No. No. I, I mean. Mm, yeah. Three. And you can put three damage uh, on. It even, effect, which... I mean, it's it's not. They kind of flooded yeah. out. That's unfortunate. They. It is. It. There was a little bit of a back and forth there for a while, but I think three of their last four cards were lands or something like that mm-hmm. i don't know it was something like that yeah no choice there yeah that's the most damage you can block and it's just uh, yeah you're dead no it's exact seas actually exactly. yep wow. uh, holy all right. cow what a what a, i mean if you're a lot of one that 2 0 but i'll tell you it did the record does not represent what really happened there 100 percent. yeah that was a much closer match than than yeah. the scoreboard indicates yeah 2 uh, is not you know if we go back in time it's not going to be mm-hmm. completely accurate yeah <clears throat> yeah that was uh yeah that was a great that was a great match well great done match by, both by both players, players. yeah and the storm seekers my goodness um well and actually to go back to your question earlier we were talking about the um uh what the i'm blanking on the name oh the we're three, talking about the, i'm sorry the trap, talking about or the trap finders and the um yes yeah the the fact that it switches to nighttime if you yes. can get the daytime nighttime moving and take advantage of nighttime, mm-hmm. then the upside is so strong. And we saw that with the storm seekers. And here right. we have it again. We have it going on here as well with the uh, with the graveyard trespasser, aka graveyard glutton, now in the mix with a with the reflection of Kiki Jiki online. Yeah, and even with the wandering and the ability to activate the seven seven, this is gonna get this is gonna go by quickly here. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking. Obviously, they have access to the ult, the um, the sweeper. Um, yeah, I mean, David only has four lands on the board, which is crazy. I mean, right? Um, and they have a, a very uh, terrific board state uh, for the time being. No one mm-hmm. card in hand. Um, by the way, with the Rakdos skins, both of these players uh, definitely playing to their uh, deck type. I guess. Um, mm-hmm. I I. I prefer, and as, as we see, one of the Supreme Verdicts getting eaten up by the Graveyard Glutton right now. Um, I love it when people have the sleeves and the pet that is thematic to the deck. That's that's a little extra, uh, a little extra. But I do appreciate. Yeah, it's funny actually. Those those exquisite Racto sleeves were like the first sleeve I actually purchased because I was like, yeah, those are those are just top tier. I need them. Um, all right, so Rizzy now running. Running out the Wandering Emperor. And for those of you just tuning in, yes, this tournament is Explorer. We promise. It just so happens that uh, if you're playing Rakdos, <laughs> a lot of the best Rakdos cards that are Explorer legal happen to be standard staples I, I was, as well. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> if you take away the um, the active, the man land, right, yep. uh, on blue, this is a standard game. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do the man Bone Crusher. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, the hollow fountain is down there too. Hollow but, fountain, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. a hollow and there's oh, the bone there's crusher a giant. Okay, we'll ignore the lands. <laughs> yeah, and ignore the, the lands and, of that one bone crusher and, and the bone crusher game, on adventure. And yep. this is a standard game, <laughs> even in David's graveyard. Because you go for the throat there, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. So, using the watering here to hit up that go to 12, 
yep. two to block. Uh, they take eight. Uh, the token will uh, expire. And then the question is, so now here's what I was talking about the other uh, earlier on is, is it better to keep, oh, it's a land. So Ouch. Worst thing you've just seen there. Is it better to keep that giant on the adventure? Because had they top decked a, had they top decked a Supreme Verdict, mm -hmm. you just put everything out there and now you get to start over and your opponent has swing back lethal with that man land. I, I'm not saying it's the right choice right now. I'm just saying that anytime that I'm presented with that and my opponent is hellbent, right? Mm -hmm. My opponent's hellbent, and the only thing they can do is pray for a sweeper off the top. There have been so many times where they get it, and then yep. you are just you are just beside yourself in regret because what you could have done is played a one turn slower, but guarantee that they couldn't have two sweepers hellbent off the top because 100%. that yeah, would be cool. near impossible. O overextending against control is one of the worst things you can do. It just, it just is, right? And yeah. um, that's exactly what that could have been. Now, in this case, it, it's going to turn out quite well because now they have an additional attacker and they're able right. to, you know, there's Castle Ardenvale and the Hall of Storm Giants back. Right. So there's going to be some blocks, but... Uh, this should be lethal. They'll, they'll, should activate, be. they'll activate the Hall. It'll be Exaxes. Um, kept mm -hmm. the land in hand, um, which is those... Um, Oh, is that from is that from Hour of Devastation or is that from Amonkhet? As the concede, okay, just a little bit too much pressure. That yep. was exact. That was Exaxes there uh, with the second Glutton right. and then um, uh, and the giant. That was Exaxes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Which were the were those lands? The uh, yeah, you can see them on the bottom the right there. Are... I, I believe those are from are they, are they Amonkhet or are they uh, Hour of Devastation? We don't have Hour of Devastation in Arena, do we? Uh, uh, no, no, we don't. Uh, those planes, if I'm not mistaken, are actually, I believe they're from M21. No because, way, really? Um, yeah, because M21 had a planeswalker of every color, and mm. the lands were themed after them. And oh, okay. Basri was the planeswalker from ah, the there you go. Mono White, who is from Amonkhet. So right. the, that artwork depicts the go. plane of Amonkhet, but I believe it was, it was uh, M21. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I know, of course, we also had the uh, revisit or whatever the Amon Cat remastered. I think that was oh, one of yes. the, I think that was one of the first historic supplement, one of the first historic supplementals, if I recall. It was up there. Um, yeah. I yeah. Amon Cat remastered came first and then Kaladish remastered. And that kind of paved the way right. for the Shadows of Renaissance remastered that we had. And then that. they just started calling them uh, hi historic anthologies. Right? Yeah. They're the anthologies as well. Right, yep. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Well, oh, and it's, it's also kind of interesting because when when they did the anthologies, they had a lot of the a lot of cards from Shadows over Innistrad and Eldritch Moon because they had already programmed them into the client. Right. So if if you were playing in like the very very early beta, you could you might have played Shadows over Innistrad cards if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And they yeah, ended up cycling them out because the whole set wasn't like dialed in, wasn't done, and right. so they started introducing those. And uh, I found it especially funny when when they were doing the preview stream for Shadows Over Instructor Master, and it's like, check it out, Mausoleum Wanderer, entire tracker. It's like, yeah, I know, I already have four of those. Like, <laughs> like what? Are you, like, yeah, those are good cards. You're right. Like, but right. we're already playing with them. Yeah. So All right. anyway, they did it quite a bit. Done. So. Um, didn't see. I didn't see a hyper aggressive board in. Uh, I mean. This is, you know, it's control. So they assume that they have the tools they need most of the time to do what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. um, again, we've mentioned, and I'll mention it again, the, the strength of Rakdos is its diversity of threats. Um, you know, I'm still waiting to see an Okiba from one of these Rakdos players. I'm telling <laughs> you, telling you, a one mana drain two, make a two two. Mm -hmm. If they want to play that. Two -two with, two -two with menace, that with even menace. buffs vehicles, if that happens oh, to be one of your concerns. Gosh. But yeah. It gives all your vehicles menace, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. which is text I always forget about on that card, but it's there. Yeah. yeah anyway. Incredibly, incredible strong opener here from Rizzy. Um, Dream Trawler. Oh my gosh, I have nightmares. You remember oh when goodness. this thing was in standard? And what a miserable time to play uh, play against control. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was that's one of those cards that when it hits, you just yeah, it, it's you know, if they have if they have a single card in hand. <laughs> You know, like if they, if they have a card in hand and a dream trawler on the board, like that's over. <laughs> the, yeah. In, in many situations. I can't tell you how many times I scooped to that hitting the stack. Uh, sure. Oh, nice to rest here. Duress uh, with this is a Ooh. tough target. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to get something good no matter what, but yeah, all three, you can make, probably make arguments for all three. I think the exile is the right choice. Yeah. Getting March um, out of the way. And it really depends on what's in David's hand. <laughs> You know, which of these is the best answer for the line I'm going to take this game? Sure, and sure. They, 
identified March, and uh, you know, we'll see how it plays out. But I'm sure that was a that was a pretty pretty smart call. Yeah, um, the eggs. Oh, another dress, and and look at this and the diverse uh, <laughs> uh, skins on the on the dress. By oh, the way, uh, for those of you who've been playing any amount of arena, you'll know that there are probably uh, we we all probably have at least twenty five dresses from all mm-hmm. the times. Oh yeah. Re- with with what what now we have I think because they just in in one oh nice nice go blank yeah go oh blank here is beautiful gosh backbreaker going full control mode here yeah <laughs> Azorius control getting out controlled by the <laughs> Rectos player <laughs> when and this is actually one of the things I love to do whenever I'm running a mid ranger deck w- with black in it is have a ton of hand hate in the sideboard for this sure. kind of matchup that's exactly what David's using uh, doing here and my goodness is it paying off. Oh, okay, rest is a good card here. That's yeah. a, that that will hit. I don't I don't I don't remember the number of Kroxa that they had, but when you do pivot to a more of a hand hate style of um is where the Kroxas come in. Yep, um, and there are two Crux Kroxas okay. on this list. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! Another gold blank? What? Hell my Bantle. goodness! Oh no! It, yeah, you have to play the land because you need to be you able are, to cast whatever you draw next. But you my are goodness. Right. And those are the M twenty ones. You're correct. Those are okay. uh, those are yeah. interesting. I, I now I'm recalling that that kind of and just hard cast bone crusher takes a lot. Oh my! Lyra, oh uh, man, great five drop. But I'll tell you what, if he doesn't, if he doesn't have, if Dave doesn't have removal in his hand, something like a shield dreads verdict. Um, that mm-hmm. Lyra will take over the game. I guess he also has go for the throat, but I, I would think against control, you would board all that stuff out. I would imagine, yeah. Oh my Bank god! Roster. Yeah. Yeah, that's the right move. Yep, yep. lockdown. That's gonna eat the it's rest everything. of the piece of Bankbuster. But getting a Bankbuster off the board while it has three counters on it is a pretty good feeling. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get any value of it. Tell you what, though, grab that land off the top. Lyra takes over this game. One hundred percent. Yep. Yeah. Again, oh. unless. Oh no! Drops it. There it is. And no. now with the rest of piece gone, and no. there goes Lyra. Oh. The one of oh, Lyra. Man. This is gonna be a land off the top. Watch this. No, oh, oh, oh. no, oh, feel the ruin off the top. That no. is not what you want to see here. So they, oh, they're on a three turn clock. They need to find an answer to this bone crusher giant and something that can get them back in this game. Exactly. Oof. Oh my gosh. Double duress, uh, double, uh, double go blank, two, double go blank. Uh, and then the timely croaks one turn earlier. And this game would be turned around upside down because, uh, of the ability to just slam Lyra, you know, you know that David boarded out all of his creature removal. So yeah, the majority of probably for that hand hate. That was <laughs> for that hand hate. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's the that's the swap. Oh no, you don't want to censor those I mean, this is bottom. This is too bottom easy. No way, no I mean, way. You, you can cycle, cycle the censor, but no, but it's you'll the just draw that off the card anyways. Yeah. 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 yeah, doesn't do you I, any good. Here's the problem: is even something like a wandering. Okay, and this, there we you, go. You had one out. You had one, one out. out. That's it. Uh, and now it's not even a guarantee. Uh, they see the card in hand. Okay, is it a? Sh- if he has, if he still has, okay, no, just F six there. So you didn't doesn't All have right. anything. Yep, F six there. Sorry, F six MTGO phrase. Um, <laughs> if you just want to pass turn, uh, nice. express pass turn. All uh, right, so the Wonder uh, Giver deals with the Bone Giant. Hopefully okay. stops the bleeding. Fable the Mirror Breaker comes out. Good card is just busted. Um, oh, Starnheim, do you suspend that? I have yeah suspend excuse me you know I mean. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no worries uh okay gonna sacrifice i was about to say no actually it's not a decision because they have the uh token okay never mind yeah so right and, now with the mana they have strongham unleashed can produce two vigilant four four angels not insignificant gonna no. toss the two wow the thought sees in a duress go to the bottom <laughs> they went full in against yeah Ooh, oh okay. really out of the veil um so they can down tick to get rid of that samurai treasure goblin can get in I bring would. him to eight I would, the yeah. star time unleashed is foretold so liliana's yes. uptick is not going to mess with it yes and that's, they that's have relevant. another spell to play they just haven't yet uh, a graveyard trespasser here would probably represent gg okay blood yep. tithe blood tithe you pretty can, strong you can but... cite you can loot mm-hmm. i would save that i would save that for a den or... So Field of Ruin is going to go after, yeah, it does it? It's going to go after the dual land over there. I would, um, unless they're I, just trying to thin their deck. Well, and they may be running out of running out of basics. That's a very real possibility. But nope, there's a swamp. Oh, wow, nope. And on top it. of that, that puts another land into the graveyard that can help escape Croxa later. So, Are they gonna tr- yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. I don't yeah. Love that. 
All right, X equals two okay. on Starnheim. All right. Look, four fours are not something to balk at. And these are mm -hmm. now in arena, there are a couple of different angel tokens. These are the ones with vigilance. There are other spells and abilities that make four four flying angels that do not have vigilance. So you have to pay attention to the token. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe it's the um not the pain land, but the um, the land that uh, 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 you can either pay three life or it enters tapped. Um, I'm trying to remember the actual spell, the the reverse side of it, what it's called. But um, I believe those don't yes. have vigilance. Amiria's call is that the one? Yeah, Amiria's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's Amiria something. I want to say those ones don't have vigilance. Someone can fact check that, but I believe they do not. Yeah, Amiria's call. Yeah, two oh. four four right infantry trucks with flying. That's it. Right, and the non so is going to struggle. Oh yeah, so and it cracks like can't come back because they put that oh. land into the graveyard. I was confused about the line there where yeah. they discarded. I was like, it's going to die anyways, but now it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Oh my Remember god! Locked out. Ooh. Okay. okay so in, this is interesting. Get in for four and sweep it up. Start over. Yep. Smack Liliana four damage. You don't have to. Do yeah. That. So temporary lockdown. It gets rid of their angels, which is a bummer to be sure, but right. it's definitely worth it because it all this. It's sort of the blood real. tithe, the goblin, the treasure, crocs, and everything real. except the reflection of Kiki Jiki. Which, to be honest, if I if I only had one permanent online, I probably would choose reflection of Kiki Jiki. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. With without summoning sickness uh, to yep. boot. Yeah, it's, it's locked and loaded. So if David has a, has a non legendary creature, yeah, they can play out here. They can make a copy and swing. Yep, yep. They've um. Trying to think. Misery Shadow. Another tough so if they one. They do make a reflection copy here. They can buff that to a four-four here. Well, and I, I hate to say it, but you know what? Is this would be another fantastic place for an Okiba? You're not wrong. Yeah, if they had Okiba Reckoner raid, this could be GG's right here. Oh no! Oh, they you're getting cycle it. That's not gonna do. It. Yeah, cycle it to maybe. Do they have three copies of the lockdown? That's it. Okay, yep. going to game three. No, wow. I'm sorry. That's the third. No, that's that it. is two. That's right. That's it was two. David. I apologize. That might also lend to the fact that they're able to navigate their own deck very well, pilot it very quickly. Yeah. And maybe, maybe it doesn't come down to just people who just play those formats, but definitely the people who are willing to compete in those formats at, a, at an event like this. There right. might be some truth to that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm not sure. But, but yeah, I got to say, the people that we've seen today, I mean, yeah, exactly. You tell, If you told me there would be two, like blue white control lists <laughs> and racto sacrifice at the top eight it's like all right let's you know i'm gonna i'm gonna get some provisions because we're gonna be here for a while and you know no it's actually been yeah it's been pretty hasty so yeah. interesting choice veer a lot of mulliganing down to six and then letting a bone crusher giant go yeah very interesting they know their matchup too oh the thought sees mm -hmm. sees when you have to mull down to five uh five or six is tough yeah no um, yeah mulliganing then having your opponent having the thought sees is, is dangerous yeah you know we had um for a very brief time we had brainstorm legal on arena um i believe and of course that quickly got snatched up yep. it yeah yeah it, it was legal and historic for i think like a month <laughs> maybe two and then they were like yeah, mm, yeah nope <laughs> and so uh you know of course the all of the iconic spells the one is another layer comes up not bad not bad yeah not bad um now the question is here do you go on the adventure i think so I think yeah that's the right move um but I was going to say the um, uh, brainstorm, of course, the the best one cost blue spell, right? The best one for black would be dark ritual. Second mm -hmm. best would be thoughtsies. Another thoughtsies. Wow, coming in, but is going down to fifteen health. You got to be careful with these boats. If it's one thing they can do is put damage on you quickly. Um, all right, going to just play the love struck O Nashorale. Going to get in for two yep. more. Put them at thirteen. Uh, but they know what's in your hand. You got one land uh, in a dream. Is all you got. Yep. Um, but I was going to say, you know, Dark Ritual, um, uh, Swords to Plowshares is white, Brainstorm, yep. Lightning Bolt, and then what am I missing? What color am I missing? I mean, there's, oh, um, um, blue, white. No, I think that's everything, right? Lightning Bolt. Oh, Giant Growth. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's, not, the, it's not broken by any by anyone's measure. But yeah, it's, yeah, just, yeah. it's just really, it's just nice. I like, I like Giant Growth. Um, it's just funny that uh, of all yeah. the ones, you know, Brainstorm was legal for a little while. There's the Migos. Okay. Yep. Like the, the Maze uh, Crusher. Turns out when you have a 4-4 four, four for 3 with upside. It's funny. If you're looking at Phyrexia LV1, especially during like spoiler season, you might wonder like, oh, it's, you know, okay, Migos, it reads like it's going to be okay, but like our oil counters really going to be good? 
And sure. truth of the matter is, you don't need oil counter synergies for that card to be good. Like you just don't. No, no. There, I have seen a little bit in standard. There is that one cost red enchantment that at the beginning of each end step it puts two oil counters on so something like that. And yes. it has a secondary text that you can like pay two or three if you remove an oil counter, make a one one. I've seen that in standard a little bit. Obviously, that combo in limited is insane. Right. Um, there's there's a two cost where you can just pretty much make infinite one ones, and because limited is so restricted you can't do it but yeah you're right uh oil counters kind of went by the wayside as a yeah i mean my gloss and then mercurial spell dancer uses them as well and that card's incredible if you're in any kind of blue spell slinger situation that allows you to like make copies of spells on a 2-1 unblockable creature right so right 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 that was pretty great but those could have been charge counters they could have been well, yeah they could have been whatever counters they happen to be oil counters okay um but my gloss here coming in with five oil counters and then having these and almost it almost reads like a planeswalker where you have these three yeah. abilities you can <laughs> activate them and you use the oil counters to, to, right. to do so. Um, one, yeah, and we have Vigilance and Menace. It's insane. Uh, do you activate a layer here? Mm. Ooh, he's choosing, opting not to. Opting not to. Sideways. And turn them all sideways. Interesting. Even, the, even the elves. Let's go. Did they do, did they do some quick math here? Because It looks that way because there is also uh, a pump ability. Okay. On the glass to give yeah. it plus two, plus two. Wow, and then okay. have enough counters to activate it twice. That was a that was a quick one. We might be uh, coming to a close here pretty quickly Absolutely. as Viralata takes game one with the uh, with the Gruel aggro deck with uh, Miglaz really yeah, showing Miglaz his power MVP here. That game, and wow. you know it started out with a, that Thoughtseize. He had a mole down to six, and mm -hmm. then the Thoughtseize took him down to five. I was I thought, well, maybe they can strip a, strip his hand away like he did the Azorius player, but. The difference is that Gruel kind of just ignores it like a good Gruel player would. They just kind of shrug it off and mm -hmm. uh, hop in the boat. <laughs> Make it happen, exactly. Well, and it's also, I mean, how good is each card? You know, if you're, if you're in a control matchup, if you're in a mid-range matchup, like each card is going to be valuable. The thing, though, is when your cards are directly turning into damage, you know, how many, how much damage can I get out of any one of these cards? And it turns out Migalaz is a card that can get you a lot of damage, you yeah. know? And, 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 a, and uh, a two of a two yeah. of as well. Um, I do recall that it is legendary, so you probably want to avoid throwing four in a, in a pile if you're trying to reconstruct uh, any of the decks that you see here today. Um, I love Clothis here. Clothis is such a good card. Oh, she's it? fantastic. Yeah. God. Passive pinging, passive mana generation. It kind of reminds me. It's like it's got it's got a little bit of everything going on. It's it's graveyard hate. It's a ping plus a drain. It's got a little bit of like a carpet of flowers kind of thing because it makes some mana. It's mm -hmm. got, it just kind of does everything. And then if you actually can get to, I think the loyalty is either five or six, seven, uh, whatever. seven. Yeah. It's pretty big. It's seven, um, but it's either green or red. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, but you can get there pretty quick. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not hard when you have, hard. well, and that's one of the things we see with definitely the mono green list, the mono green devotion list, mm -hmm. where it's like when you're running Elvish mystics and Lanamore elves, your green devotion can add up quite pretty quickly. It's, like, it's not mm -hmm. hard to get there. So yeah, exactly. We, when you have, yeah, when you have a lot of these, when you're when you're going wide, and when something like Miglaz, it has both colors, that gets you two devotion. You know, yeah. as far as Clothis is concerned. So I don't know. I I haven't. I'm trying to think. The last time I actually saw Clothis become a creature. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Seven yeah, is a big number. Know. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're. Oh, what an opener! Wow. What an opener! El elves on elves on turn one into storm seeker turn two assuming look at the elves survive look at the perfect, not given to be fair but look at the perfect lands to mute of all beside you in case they hit a <laughs> in case they hit it with a uh another thought seize. okay another thought seize. okay do you take land of war elf oh uh, i think so i think I so think take land of war elf take him off the land bolt the bird etc I mean, yeah, the... storm seeker's not bad like if i have a fatal push in hand i'm taking storm seeker here okay. and letting okay. him run the land war elf go. out and then just blasting it Ooh. Ooh, we have luca bound to ruin which I believe was either a one of that got boarded in, I think. Uh, I believe you're correct. Yes, there was yeah, one in the side. That's it. Yep. Okay. Very now, powerful like card. Said, back it up with a now you have to have a go go for the throat. Do you hit okay? That that works. Ah, too. stomp. Man, Stomp has killed quite a few uh land world elves in this day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's ironic is uh um we're watching from Viralata's perspective here, and it may be because they're connecting from another country there and uh, down in um, Brazil, um, or it could be, and there's the Bazaju. I was just saying that. Yeah. I just I called it. Um, problem is, they still get the token. Yeah, so... they, they still get the token, and now they get an extra land, too. So, yeah. 
but two cards in hand, Rakdos not known for its redraw ability, so um, still probably the correct thing. I yeah, freaking called it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, and, and the besides you there, I mean, the downside of giving your opponent a land is very real. It, it's you know, it is a bummer. <laughs> yeah. Um, that yeah, but I mean, Bazaju, insanely good card. Um, oh yeah. You know, I think you know we t- let's talk about while this uh, spell resolves here. Um, looks like they're making some decisions. Um, when we were looking at previews for Kamigawa, first of all, I don't care who it is. You all are lying if you said that you knew the extent to which Fable mm-hmm. the Mirror Breaker was going to warp every single format. Period. <laughs> it's seeing play, it's seeing play in Mono Red Prison in Legacy right now. There are people playing a card from 2022 in their Legacy deck alongside alongside cards that are worth several thousand dollars That's so wild. To give you an idea of how busted fable the mirror breakers okay in addition to that bazaju sensational Ottawara, sensational mm-hmm. i don't i knew that we knew that uh bazaju was going to be good i oh, don't yeah. know that we knew to the extent yeah i think all the channel lands well the channel lands felt yeah. similar to the castles from eldraine when they came out yes because yes. when you look at it and it's like okay is this going to be good enough it's like well maybe maybe not but also why not run it like, right. give me one reason not to have this in my deck. And it's like, well, mm-hmm. I don't really have one for you. <laughs> I mean, might as well. <laughs> now, interesting there, that Basiju did blow up the Fable. I don't believe David got a land off that. Now, they are running four Blood Crypts, which the Basiju could grab. Uh, so I'm wondering if we have a connection issue here. Oh, no. That would be terrible. Yeah. Because that, yeah, at the same time, it also took them an awfully long time. Oh, mm-hmm. no. That would but be very unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. Um, we'll, have, we'll have to take a look at the uh, we'll yeah. take a look at the rules here. Hopefully, one of the uh, admins or mods is around to um, get a hold here. We're in the finals. That would be heartbreaking for David. Yeah, um, if it, if, the, if the finals comes down to something like this, so I'm sure yeah. we'll we'll get this sorted out. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hopefully, if anything, we can uh, uh, put them up one zero. Put Viralot up one zero, and then we'll resume. And then David yeah, resume. Back. Hopefully, that's the case. Do, yeah, we may do something like that. Well, I'm not sure how. They want to handle it, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but the channel lands. I mean, even yeah. ones like, oh, uh, even ones like Sokenzin, you know, is not necessarily particularly strong. But the downside of running it is that it's legendary. Okay, looks like David's back. David's back. They're going to with the Goblin Shaman. Okay. And you know what is, um, if Virlada doesn't pull land off the top, he's not doing any sitting on his hands here for a while. Yep. Uh, and then, oh in my the goodness! Of the veil. All right. Okay. That talk about crazy reprints. Well, I think we're like right. Tarmogoyf away from being able to have just just Jund, like modern Jund in well, well no fetches. Um, <laughs> there's the land. Okay. There's the land. Now, yes. is it Luca with the Phyrexian? You pay two life, or is it the uh, Akroan? Yeah, that's the right choice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Akroan War makes sense here. Because also you get the five, and then it'll be it'll be boat time again. I do love right. boat time. Yeah, boat time is a good time. <laughs> well, and now that you have a creature online, well, I, I was about to say David is like hard, you know, definitely has has to consider down taking Liliana here, but I don't think they will because Bone Crusher can tangle with that Goblin Shaman, no problem. Right. And they know about the boat. So yep. uh, they don't. Oh, Ooh, wow. they're going to down take Liliana. Get rid of that okay. Goblin Shaman. Right. Okay. So they, they did snap a land off the top last time to get them to four. And they're not going to be so lucky this time. Question is, okay, going Luca. Going to pay the Phyrexian on this. Okay. And then you can make a 3-3. Three, three, um, and it will have three loyalty counters. Is that right? Because it so. uh, reduces the number. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it'll come in with three. You can downtick to make the beast. So Luca would end the turn with two loyalty. Right. But you'd have a 3-3 three, three toxic beast online, which <clears throat> not a bad spot to be in. Although yeah, Liliana seeing... is capable of down ticking again, but that would be the end of Liliana. Right. So makes the three. And pretty much um David here praying that the uh card off the top is not a land for Viralata because uh, the boat is gonna be a problem. Yep. And the other thing I should mention with Luca is those tokens that they create with Toxic, I should mention as well, mm-hmm. which is an alternate win condition, although extremely rare. It is a win condition. Um, is they have three po- three power, so they can immediately crew the boat. Yeah, that's big time. <sighs> Whereas Reckless cannot until you go to combat, and then it puts the 1-0 in haste. Right, and in a lot of situations, you want to give that, I mean, if possible, you want to give that power boost to the boat itself. So, right. Yeah. 
All right, so they're going to oh, downtick here. Wow. So yeah, that's so that's the d- decision there. And mm-hmm. who's to say they don't have another one? Okay, it's all right. We're going den now. We're going to go wide, and yep. um, and they they know. have to attack, which you know because of the Ukraine really? war. But they were going to do that anyway. So why four at the planeswalker and three face? I'm confused. Uh, by that. this does look like they're going to miss out on some damage. Why? Face. That's a that is a yeah. They could have sent the den at Luca. All right. So if they lose by one damage, <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, Necron War is gonna gonna pop off, clear the board. Right. Yep, that's correct. All right, and uh, and David one. now has five lands, a treasure. One of those lands is a den. Opted not to go four to the face. Very confused by that. Maybe yeah. the maybe the uh, excitement of the situation got to him. Yeah, possibly, possibly. I mean, because that was a really good attack. I mean, they had a really good setup there, so I can right. appreciate getting a little excited. I get it. I've been there. Um, blue, I should mention, by the way, blue not represented in the finals here. Very surprised. Oh, wow, also, didn't yeah. see too much action from uh, didn't see too much action from mono white humans, which is a surprise. There was some early, I guess, huh? True. Yeah. That's yeah, that's very... kind of wild. Yeah, red. Meanwhile, on both Whoa. sides. Of the both sides oh okay is it bow right. time is it bow looks like they're gonna pull gigantha to hand here at least that's what they're considering get good in for two with a mutavolt i mean why would you do that pre-combat though they don't know what that other card is why would you do this pre-combat i think this is a, a back-to-back misplays here i'm confused by that unless they don't, really don't intend to activate mutavolt which it's, yeah it looks like they don't they don't want to risk the mutavolt okay. getting i won't call that a misplay i'll just call that a peculiar play <laughs> it, it's a very cautious line yeah <laughs> Yeah. Uh, looks like they have a mutable of their own. If they wanted to uh, crack the treasure, they could get in for an additional two, which every okay. little bit of damage matters here. So, so now the mutable can block this one. I, I am very concerned that that one damage is going to matter because the way we're looking here, trading animate lands, I. Mm. All right. Well, yeah, mutable is going to. Uh, oh, and my God. Never mind, it's not to stop. Oh, no. All right. This guy's sovereign. Yeah, we're on the show. The you show not me, yo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like Kevin Garnett, anything is possible. All right. <laughs> Sky Sovereign back in the. Yeah, Sky Sovereign's here, and Gigantha in hand can crew the Sky Sovereign. Yep. Next Imagine. Turn. Imagine having a big, uh, ancient, legendary elemental elk flying a sky ship. Now that's. Right. Now I've seen everything. That one damn. If that one damage comes down. Oh, my goodness. No. Wow. All right, so we have another land. Okay. Now, if you crew it, you do put yourself in a position where something like uh, a Mutavault plus an Okiba could win it. Uh, hey, I mean, <laughs> true. Yeah, it looks like they're going to... Oh, gonna they got oh. Okay. Okay, that's good. Noxious Grasp, great answer to deal with that Gigantha. And so oh, now, no. Sky Sovereign is just sitting there. There's that Mutavault. Wait, why did he crew on the board? Why did he crew in response? I don't understand. Uh, it was end step. Okay. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, okay. It was very lot of end step. So they could have, but it wouldn't. They wouldn't have changed. Okay. Wouldn't change the situation. This one damage, extra mattering right now. Right. Okay. Bank you buster. Can, okay. Do you, snap, do you snap that now, or do you uh, might as well? I guess. I mean, it's kind of no reason not to, unless you're. A, I'd be worried about hand hate, but I guess a girl opponent, I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, yeah exactly. a War's not going to do the job. I mean, so they have the mutable back. That's, block. that's it okay let's but, think we're getting a game three it's looking that way yeah because we're allowed to trick out game one. Oh no no they have their own muta vault okay okay yeah exactly so there's mutable on either side so it's not over yet but woof, this is this gonna come push, down to the and a braid a fatal push anything to clear that opposing muta vault wins it mm-hmm. the fact that they're crewing and going for it means that yeah and it looks like they don't have another creature because if they could have played another creature there as well to crew the bank buster right potentially so here we go. Do they have the, do they have the push? Oh, they have the push. Yeah, they got the push. Okay, push okay. Ouch. Right. Man, what a game. All right. That was a phenomenal game. My goodness. All right, we're going to game three. And uh, while they're sideboarding, this is it, folks. I just want to thank everyone for coming in. We'll, we'll wrap up here at the end as well. But, um, wow, what a, what a day of, uh, of decks. I'm really satisfied with the diversity of lists presented as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I gotta say, everybody's yeah. Every every player seems to have brought their A game today, and there's some really excellent stuff going. I gotta say, there there is one deck 
There's one archetype that I was hoping to see today that I haven't seen in Explorer with the introduction of Shadows over Instrad Remastered, and that's Hammer Time. Uh, oh yeah, you're yeah, that's right. We didn't you may know one. If you look at if you look at my background right now, uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan yeah. of the Colossus Hammer. And um, Sigarda's Aid was introduced into sure. Explorer through um, Shadows over and Shadow Remastered. And that was one of the key pieces of like, you know, pioneer or modern hammer time that right, Explorer has been course. missing. I was hopeful that somebody was going to give it a go and we were going to see, see it. A, a red, white warrior deck. Yep. Uh, Cause then you have a couple of other uh, equip features and we're on to game three here. Yeah. Uh, going to hold a four lander to start with Elvish. Um, it's with good enough. Yeah. Good yeah. Enough. I think this is going to be just fine. Yeah. We just need to find ourselves a boat and we'll get some elves and uh, werewolves and elks flying I'll, those I'll boats. Where do they get those boating licenses? That doesn't make I know, any sense. It's wild. But yeah, so being on the play, Elvish Mystic is pretty great, especially when one of the primary answers to it that your opponent has, well, there's Fatal Push, to be fair. <laughs> I, I was going to say Stomp. Yeah, <laughs> I was, was going to point a, out Stomp. You know, an old adage, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm an old head when it comes to magic. You know, we were talking about all these words that don't mean anything anymore. Wow, that Thoughtseize oh, is going to brutal. Yeah, Thoughtseize is clutch here. Ooh, now, it does hurt. You know, it, it does, you do lose life mm -hmm. when you when you Thoughtseize. So. Oh, yeah. And Viralata is on. It's it's a mid range deck, but oh it's pretty God. aggressive. Here comes another Thoughtseize. He's getting rid of the chariot. Ouch! Now, meanwhile, David is on one land <laughs> for all of this. My you goodness! One land? There's oh, another. Okay, okay hive. You don't see a hive come in untapped on turn four very often, but here we are. No That's turn like five. I'm sorry. Turn five. No, come no, on. You're going to twelve. Another Thoughtseize. You're going to go to twelve. Take Juicy J. Yeah, take Juicy J for sure. I mean, a Crow War's not doing anything here. Uh, interesting. They must have an answer for. No, they have. They have go for the throat. One hundred percent. They have to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Take a look. Like, can you believe this? Yeah. Well, like, really? Really? Your opponent, your, your opponent has done eight damage to themselves. You have ah! to thank for that. <laughs> heartless. Act, yeah, that'll do it. Yep. Same. Yep. Yeah, heartless acts. Yeah, go for the throat. Same difference. All right, Land Beat beatdown is apparently the plan. Uh, Heartless Act, by the way, uh, diff important, important, different text than um, Go for the Throat in that you can interact with Miglaws. True. And, re and remove those oil counters if you choose. Right. Oh my God. Legions Come end? on. No way. Really? That's a card you almost never see, and this happened to be the perfect situation for it. And uh, I was also going to say, because there's a little bit of lag going on, you actually get to, to enjoy the full animation, because most of the time it just looks like a big black explosion, but it actually right. has some skulls on it, which is pretty rad. It's pretty cool, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whoever did the art on that nailed it. Yeah, oh man, I wish I wish they still, I know they're trying to do it for like consistency and the, that it doesn't um, lag the client as much, but I wish they, oh my god, another land. Yeah, and especially on... on on mobile like that's a yeah you know, I, I understand I, the, the animations can be a bit problematic i used to but... put a lot of effort into those animations mm -hmm. and just kind of stopped yeah all right then we get to look at two more cards here so um this is the this is the part that makes fables so good is it lets you find answers wow okay do you go land plus croxa oh my gosh it's a land no way. they chose not to play they're gonna lose three life well they would have lost three life anyway right Lose three life. It's a six six. How many? Oh, or, or Shieldred. Or that. That's My good goodness. Card. All right. That's David a great Shieldred. But there's a boat. There's a boat. All uh, right. So that's going to get rid okay, of the Goblin yeah. Shaman. It can't go face, unfortunately. That uh, would be ideal. Nope. Okay. And now, I mean, I would send my Love Strike Beast in here to tangle with Tangled, Shelly. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I mean you need to get Sheldred off the board. You're not gonna block. That's wild. Come on. I mean it could have been a it could have play, been a play with fire or something. It could have been it could have been lethal right there. True, true. That I don't well, do, that I don't agree with. You I mean with both that's six damage in the air. Do you have removal because they have I mean they have to otherwise that's it. Otherwise yeah. that was an insane block to not do oh okay a braid works. A braid that'll do it. Yep. All right. Okay uh don't swing what do you have? go for the throat actually uh croaks is coming back next turn by the way yep last card is what last card is what don't uh oh, oh well, okay. Grant, stomp the one one love sharp beast can no longer attack no way are you attacking right now um um yep 
Goodbye, Reflection of Kiki Jiki. It has been a pleasure. Because this is an easy attack. The Stormseeker. Wow. Okay, I mean, I, Chandra's going to gain you life, yes, but... Yeah, I mean, but that attack was... It was aggressive. Bonkers. That, that, was, that, that was, was hyper aggressive. That was super risky, yeah. All right, you got Kroxa, you have Hive, you have Bone Crusher. Which direction are you going? Uh, man. Croaks is good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I mean, it's, it's tough to go wrong. With, that's a, that's a guaranteed three. Yep. See, that's also cool, too. You get to see the full animation. I don't yeah. see that because... <laughs> no! <laughs> no! The crow, the crow in war! I'm going to drop for Viralata! The clutch! It, it's going to come Unbelievable. in! Unbelievable! Now, Mom, which, who do you camera. take here? Mom, get the camera. Right? <laughs> Oh no, and it gives it haste. And the clap and back you give it haste with the Stormseeker. Oh no. You have to discard a card. What's what that card? What is it? It's another card. What is it? It's another crocs. It? Okay, so they don't take the three there, but the, and now now Ocrow and War just allowed Viralata to use Crocs to kill children. That's my goodness. Oh wow. Now this is gonna put an, enough cards into the graveyard so that crooks can come back yes yes death touch important text there on shield red yep uh for the trade and also no trample on crooks important as well oh, that important, yes um oof, don't look he's looking he's looking at activating hive don't do that <laughs> yeah no that'd be a terrible idea right here yeah no um, you lose that race that's not gonna work i believe they have enough it, to it's, yeah it's oh, wow yeah there. Bone crusher and i don't know they have Bankbuster. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, oh. Okay. So oh, that makes the five times. Attack. That's it. Oh, that's wow. game, baby. Wow. Oh. Elvish Mystic wow. off the top. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. What a what a match. That was fantastic. Wow. Holy what a match. Cow. A Crow and War phenomenal. Elvish Mystic clutch draw. Because that love <laughs> piece had one. not been an issue for a long time. Oh. Man, Xaxes, wow. and now br knocking himself all the way down to 12 HP uh, by turn four, really pertinent. 